What does the future of flight training look like? Will flight schools be using all-electric aircraft, or will we see aircraft run on zero-emission fuels? Will we start to see more highly advanced simulators, or will we see virtual reality start to take over? I ask these kinds of questions pretty much on a weekly basis, but the aircraft that I'm about to show all of you will give you an idea about where we are headed to in the near future. Allow me to introduce you all to the future of flight training, the Technum P Mentor. My name is Nick. You also may know me as Pilot Mix. I'm a commercial pilot, flight instructor, and my passion is aviation. What's up, guys? Uh, today is super exciting because we're going to be heading up to Sebring to pick up an airplane. And this airplane is the P Mentor. For those of you who don't know, the P Mentor is actually Technum's newest line of flight training aircraft. Super advanced, super cool, and I can't wait to show you guys more about this airplane. It's really, really nice. We're gonna be flying it from Sebring down to Fort Lauderdale. We're gonna be leaving on our train in about, uh, I would say an hour, it's currently eight o'clock in the morning, and our train leaves at 8.50. So we're gonna be taking an Uber from here, Fort Lauderdale Executive, to the Fort Lauderdale train station, and then from there we'll be headed up to Sebring. We'll get there around maybe 11.30. And then from there, we got to do all the paperwork and just make sure the airplane's ready to go. And then from there, we're going to bring the airplane back down to Fort Lauderdale. And with that, I'm going to show you guys all about the P-Mentor. It's super exciting. And um, I can't wait to show you guys more about this airplane. So let's go. So I won't necessarily be making this trip alone. This is Milena. She represents X-Flight, a flight school based out of Pompano Beach, who we are actually making this delivery to. X-Flight's fleet is primarily Technum aircraft, which for those of you who might not remember, I actually got to fly two of their airplanes when I first got introduced to Technum. And as you guys can see, they love green. This will be their first P mentor at the new Fort Lauderdale executive base. So this is a very special delivery for the flight school. All right guys, so as you guys can see, behind me is the one and only P mentor. Now, what makes this airplane so unique? Why, why is it so special? Well, first let's talk about the name, Mentor, right? What does Mentor mean? Teacher, this airplane is so special because it's specifically made for flight training. And this airplane is fantastic. As you guys can see, it's a super sleek design and it is beautiful. All of Technum's airplanes are pretty much made for flight training. All their airplanes are designed for that. And this is Technum's newest line of aircraft and it's just, it's a wonderful work of art. We're gonna be taking this airplane from here all the way back to Fort Lauderdale. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about what this airplane can do. We're gonna do soul flight, steep turns, we'll do a power off stall, and we'll probably do some ground reference maneuvers as well. And then we're gonna take the shoreline all the way down to Fort Lauderdale for some beautiful views. And I can't wait to show you guys more about this airplane. I'm so excited. I just really wanna jump right in, so let's go. Since this airplane is brand new, it's important to thoroughly check everything prior to flying. This airplane has less than five hours of total time and this will be its first cross-country flight. The weather along the route is very, very good and all the airplane's documents have been checked out, meaning that once it's passed its pre-flight inspection, we'll be ready to go. Milena is excited because this will be her first flight in the P-Mentor. He's been looking forward to this for months. However, before I take you all along with me on this flight, let me tell you a little bit about this airplane. The P-Mentor uses a 100 horsepower Rotax 912 engine with a constant speed propeller. The engine is both liquid and air-cooled and can run on both MoGas and Avgas. The Mentor has one of the most modern cockpits that I've ever flown and it's equipped with some of the most advanced avionics in the market. Two Garmin G3Xs, a standby Garmin GI275, a Garmin 650XI, a Garmin GNC255, and my personal favorite, a Garmin GFC500 autopilot controller. The aircraft's max takeoff weight is 1,587 pounds, with a useful load of 628 pounds. The fuel capacity maxes out at about 37 US gallons, and it can fly for 950 miles on one tank, which is pretty freaking impressive. Sebring Unicom, November 410, Uniform Victor, uh, leaving at the Technum hangar. We're going to be taxiing to runway 1 via Alpha. What do you sell? I'm going to bring up Kempi. Yes, ow. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 I'm fine. <laughs> So you're in traffic, Bristol 447, 440 Papa, turn and crosswind, runway one, so you're in traffic. 
All right, checklists are done. Let's close the canopy. And CB tra C Sebring traffic, uh, November 410 uniform, Victor uh, White, uh, Techno P Mentor, we are uh, holding short of runway 1 Alpha 1. I see the traffic on final. I think traffic 99 Alpha Alpha is clear, runway 1, Sebring. Okay, I got no traffic on final. Sebring traffic, uh, White P Mentor, we're going to be lining up on runway 1. Ready to rock and roll? Yes. Sebring traffic, Sonic 126, Mike Echoes holding short runway 1, Sebring traffic. Sebring traffic, White Techno P Mentor, we're going to be taking off from runway 1. And full power. Everything's the green, good. Airspeed's alive. Alright, 3, rotation speed. Great. Oh, she climbs. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Downwind for runway one, so you rank traffic. There we go. Thank you, Ben. Six to the left. Seeping traffic, uh, white, P Mentor, turning left, crosswind, uh, runway one. Today, that was fun. It was fun. <laughs> you want to take her? Nice. Want to take controls? Probably, yeah. All right, Let cool. Me. You got this, right? Yeah. Okay. So, my controls. All right, your controls. My controls. Powers are good. Just keep it at around 65 for now. I like 65. Give me a left turn. Left turn? Yeah, very nice and easy left turn. Bring the nose up. All set. Very good. All right, let's go this that way. Fine. Give it that Lakers. Yeah. Let's go that way. Great. At the exact scene of Jet, Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox. It does get hot. Yeah, but the view is amazing with oh, this one. Oh, the view one. is amazing. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. Just out of curiosity, why? So, just uh, just just real quick, because you guys had this, the Cessna 150s and the Cessna 172s on X flight. Yeah. Why did you guys make the transfer to Techno specifically? Okay, there's a couple of reasons for that. Okay. Uh, first of all, I think there's two main reasons: uh, cost of the like operation cost, uh, fuel is. Uh, really competitive between the other with the mogas and with the like the fuel consumption is really low uh -huh. and then the maintenance cost is just it's, it's a lot lower maintenance, yeah it's it's low and it's way easier than in the other planes plus we can get brand new planes with new avionics and and they're good for training so that's the main reasons because we switch to pregnancy okay Everybody always has a spontaneous transfer, like, oh, look at these airplanes, and then you guys just went to it, or oh, was it like well, a, We have been working with them, like, from uh, 10 years in Argentina right now. Oh, so you guys already have them in Argentina? We have a lot okay. of them in Argentina. Uh, in Argentina, it's really common to have them. Uh, so we already have been working with them for more than 10 years now. So we just bring it here and start working with them again. Okay. And did you guys start with just the 92? Sorry? Did you guys start with the P92 or we did you guys start, start with the other ones? Um, actually, in Argentina, we have a 2002, we have P92s, and we have a couple of them. Okay. Uh, here, we start with the 2010, actually. The first one that we really? got here. Yeah, the high performance one that was the first one here. Okay. And then um, uh, the three P92s that we have right now on the fleet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. <laughs> All right, everyone, we're going to demonstrate uh, what the P-Mentor can do here. We're going to start with, uh, let's do, let's do the slow flight. Let's start with some slow flight. We already finished our clearing turns. So we're going to head one, zero, zero. I'm going to bring back the power. We're in the white arc, flaps down. There we go, 54 knots. And we climbed just a little bit, so we're going to decrease our power. Pitch for speed, power for altitude. I did climb a little bit. I haven't done this maneuver in a long time. Do not judge me. No, I'm just a student pilot. How can I... Judge you. Hey, listen, I, you'd be very surprised at what I've seen. <laughs> there you go, that's nice. Slow flight, yeah! Okay, let's recover and let's go full power. Full power flaps up. Okay, flaps are up. We're at 66, going and speeding up, good. Still at the same altitude, 3000. From there, we're gonna transition into a steep turn. Okay, we're, we're clear. Ready? Three, Ready? two, one.
I think there's a grass strip below us. And we're gonna go hard bank left. Perfect. All right, that was good. Yeah, steep turn. All right, nice. Okay, we'll do uh, power off stall. We're just going to go indicated. We're not going to do the full stall. Okay, okay perfect. That's, that works, so it's safe. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay, we're in the white arc. Flaps down. Okay, we're going to do an approach. All right, we're going to do it around 60 knots. So we'll wait till 60. Three, two, one, idle. Stall. Stall, first Stall. indication, full power. Flaps out. That, right, was, that doesn't good. feel like a stall. No, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you can't really do a trip like this and not take the shoreline down to Fort Lauderdale. And that's exactly what we did. Uniform Victor, follow me first, follow me September 3011. 3011, uh, Uniform Victor. Hey, what's a, what's a pilot's favorite kind of humor? What? Such a, eight, two, three, a plain five, joke. Heading three, four, zero, sign, golf, pilot. <laughs> it's so two, bad. Three, four, three, <laughs> six, uh, <laughs> so bad. 1,000 right down on 29. All right, you're going to form Victor from this. Extend downwind to our call base. Okay. Traffic holding on position. Extend downwind to our base. Uh, you're going Victor. All right, you're going to form Victor. Turn on base. Caution for transporting citation. Runway 9 are clear to land. 49 declared to land. Uh, 410 uniform Victor. All right, you're going to form Victor. Direct to the numbers, please. Direct to the numbers. 5 to uniform Victor. I'm going to use up as much as I can. Side C. Running out of 3,400. Should be a factor. Frequency change. Good today. Thank you. Frequency change. Good 5420. Okay, so before I get stones thrown at me, yes, I know. I floated a lot. I wasn't too proud of that, and I should have gone around and tried again. But part of being a pilot is learning from your mistakes, and believe me, I know that this wasn't a great landing. However, with that being said, I did have plenty of runway to use, and I wanted to touch it down as smoothly as possible since this is a brand new airplane. Nice. The uh, executive uh, it floated? Fort Lauderdale executive uh, beach uh, Riverview Port 12, we're just outside of Alright, you're going to find Victor 1 3 approved, contact ground, good day. 1 3 approved, we'll contact ground, uh, we'll uniform Victor. Riverview Port 12, exit park, continue on traffic, what are you going to do? Station 410 uniform Victor, executive ground, taxi port on 1 3 and then Echo, Echo 1. Take down one three echo echo one uh, four one two uniform Victor. Oh yes. Stand up three five three ground. Oh. I'm so excited right now to start using it for bicycle. Are you guys gonna start using it tomorrow? Immediately? If I can, I will use it today. We're going to start using it for school right now. So. What? Right now, this plane's available for you, said Alex. Nice. Yeah. Mission accomplished. As you guys saw, this airplane is a fantastic flight trainer. Super, super cool. I really, really love this airplane. It maneuvers well, very, very simple to fly. Avionics are all updated. Like, you've got cutting edge stuff in this airplane. Technum really, really hit the ball with this one. I cannot wait to see this airplane be used by all flight schools, because this is awesome. It really makes you feel like a World War II fighter pilot. But yeah, guys, we brought the airplane back safely and it's all in one piece. And I cannot wait to make more of these videos about these awesome aircraft that Technic makes. But other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys later.